Hey everybody, it's Ray Harvey with Access Jiu Jitsu. Thanks for joining us on this video for um, creating a new Access database. I wanted to do a, a series on a basic table and form design, so I decided that the first video I would do would be just creating a blank database and setting up some of the properties that um, I pay attention to when I first create a database. So let's get to it. Alright, everybody, I have an empty folder here. We're going to create our new database. I'm going to do this by right clicking and choosing new and then Microsoft Access Database and we're going to call it, I'm going to call it Medical Examination. Press enter, open it, I double click. You first open a new Access Database, you will get this security warning up here at the top. You'll want to click Enable Content so that uh, Access is free to run any code that you might add to this database at a later date. Now notice that this database is completely empty at the moment. We have no objects over here that uh, we have created, no tables, forms, or anything. This is your navigation pane. Anything that you create will show up over here. So the first thing I do when I create a brand new Access database is I set some database level properties for the, the effect how the entire database will operate and, and behave and look. So we do that by going up here to the File tab and down here choosing the Options selection. There we go. Under General, there's very little here that I mess with. Now you can, you can change your color scheme. This changes the color scheme of uh, the whole access window. I, I like the blue, so I leave it as blue. One thing you do want to check though is to make sure that you're using the Access 2007 format. That is the, the newest version available. Uh, if you use either of these prior ones, you'll get um, an, an access database that ends with an MDB uh, file ending. Uh, the 2007 version gives you the ACCDB ending, and there are lots of improvements in the 2007 and in going forward version. So we want to make sure that we're using the 2007 and forward version. And next, I go up here to the current database option. There are quite a few things that I take a look at in here. This top item here, application title. This is what you will see and what your customers will see at the top of the screen up here when they open their database. So I. Uh, you might put your, your customer's name there, something along those lines. I don't have a customer here, so I'm going to I just type medical examination with a space in between. All right, in the middle of the words. Um, application icon. I'm not going to set that at this point, but you can. If you have an icon, a custom icon you've made for your customers, you can browse to it here and set that, set that icon. And that will show in the, uh, the top left corner of... Um, your windows. This next item here, we can't do this yet, the display form. This is the form that you want to show uh, as, as soon as the Access Database opens. Now we haven't built any forms yet, so uh, when we click on this drop down box there are no forms for us to select. After we've made a form, a couple of forms, we'll come back, we'll revisit this in a future video and uh, select a form there. Now this next option down here uh, that I look at, the document window options. Uh, you have two choices here, overlapping windows and tabbed documents. The tab documents is the, the, the newer way that, that, that Microsoft has, has built for us. And what you get is um, <clears throat> if you have multiple windows open within your database, you will get tabs going across the top of your, your database window and you select which one you want to look at by clicking on the tab. Uh, personally, I enjoy the overlapping windows, that's an old, the older style, and that is where if you have multiple windows open, you can actually see uh, multiple windows uh, in your Access application, and you can move them around and resize them uh, and have them overlapping or not overlapping, as you see, says, as you see fit. So uh, I'm going to choose overlapping windows here. So this next option, use Access Special Keys. This is a pretty important one, but it really depends on uh, what you want to do with your database. Now, what we're referring to here is there are about four keys here that, that are fairly important. The shift key, when you're opening a database, if you hold down the shift key, it will prevent any of your automatic code from running at database startup. So if you have anything like a login form or um, any sort of auto-execute macro, it's going to do something like record who's logging in. None of that will, will run if you're, if you're pressing the shift key while you're opening the database. So if you need those things to run, uh, that you'll, you'll want to turn off this checkbox at some point before you deliver it to your customers. Um, other things that, that work here, the F11 will display the database window or the navigation pane. If you had it hidden, uh, the F11 will show it. 
a control break will put your code into break mode. In other words, it'll stop it from executing. And control G will show the immediate window. Uh, we haven't, uh, we're not writing any code right now, so we're not going to look at that. We'll see that a little bit later. Uh, the next thing that I usually look at is the use Windows themed controls on forms. If you uncheck this box, you will get uh, older looking controls like text boxes and, and, and check boxes and whatnot that look like the older style access databases, the, uh, the 2003 and, and prior version. The, the Windows theme controls have a softer appearance, have softer shadows, and most of them are flat. I think they merge uh, a lot better with current Windows applications. Uh, next, I look at uh, this guy down here, preserve source image format, uh, smaller file size. If you check the next one here, convert all picture data to bitmaps, uh, any any um, images you use in your database will be converted to bitmaps, and uh, bitmaps use up a lot more disk space than, you know, say, JPEGs and, and GIFs. So I, I usually uh, use this preserve source image format. Next item down here, display the navigation pane. Again, we're talking about this guy over here. Um, you might not want that displayed when you, just, when you deliver your database to your customers, but uh, for now, for development, we're going to have it displayed. There's a couple things I want to look at in here. Actually, one thing I want to look at in here, and that is this um, uh, show hidden objects and show system objects. So you can set properties over here in the navigation pane for tables, forms, and set them as hidden. So that way, even if the uh, navigation pane is showing, if you have this unchecked, they will not show there. And that's a, that is a way to keep things uh, out of the hands of your customers if you need to show the, the navigation pane for some reason. Show system objects over here. Let's take a look at what happens when we check that and back all the way out of here. What we get over here is some system tables that Access uses uh, to help run your database, okay? Uh, I usually do not care to see those, so let's go back in here, add to navigation objects, and turn those off, and uh, those will disappear after we close this outer window. Uh, next down here, the ribbon name. You can create custom ribbons, and I have a video on that um, elsewhere on this uh, YouTube page. And uh, when you have ribbons created, custom ribbons created, you can select the names here to display. Now, allow full menus, and allow default default shortcut menus. Those are uh, the full menus is up on the ribbon. All the design features uh, that Access has with it. Again, uh, if you're delivering a database to your customers, you probably don't want all of those features to be to be seen by them, to be accessible by them, because they could mess with all your hard work and, and design work that you did. <laughs> okay, and do a lot of it. Uh, the allow default shortcut menus, those are the right-click menus. So like if you have a form uh, displaying in your, on your screen, and if you right-click on it, you know, one of the options there is to go straight into design mode from there. Again, uh, you might not want your customers to have that kind of power, but it depends on the type of database that you're making. All right, let's close from here. So there we have a blank database for us to begin using in our next uh, set of videos on table and form design. I hope you got something out of this video, and I look to see you next time. Thanks.